Tasker can now be your device owner. And by device owner, I mean it can do actions that it previously couldn't with a new device owner permission that allows you to do many uh, new powerful actions. Let's check them out. Uh, this, there's this new action called device administrator actions, which amongst other things allows you to do the, this stuff here. For example, let's look at the suspend app example. I could suspend Chrome which means if I get Chrome on my home screen here and launch it, you can see that it works normally. But if I suspend it with Tasker, the apps icon turns uh, grayscale like that, and then and then uh, if I launch it, it won't work anymore. It says that it's blocked. Now if I unsuspend it, it simply goes back to normal and I can launch it again. There's also the freeze uh, option, which is almost the equivalent of uninstalling the app. So if I freeze the app, the app goes away, it, it looks like it's not even installed anymore. It's not on the launcher, it's not on the app drawer and even Tasker can't see it anymore. But then I can unfreeze the app and everything goes back to normal. And there's the app again. So if you want a way to make sure an app is not running at, some, at a certain time, you can automate it with this freeze and unfreeze action. You can also kill an app, which is the equivalent of force stopping it from the app settings. So if you go into the Android settings, I mean, you can force stop it and you can do the same with the new uh, kill app action here. So if I this task I launch the app, wait three seconds and kill it, I launch it and after a few seconds the app is killed. But best of all, there's a new, there's this custom action that, right here that allows you to not only do any of these predefined ones, but you can actually look into your own device and check out everything you can do with your device. So these actions here are all <clears throat> dynamically gotten from your device and listed here so you can call any one of them. So I prepared a few examples here, like the location enabled one. I could disable the location on your device, on my device, and if I disable it and now go to my settings and go to uh, location, you can see that it's disabled. But if I enable it, and let me just show you the helper here, so location, set location enable it, enabled, I can long click the action so that you can see exactly what it does. It tells you what it does and tells you what parameters you get. And it asks you if you want to enable or disable. And in this case, oh, sorry. I want to enable it again. So true. And if I run this, now the location is enabled again. I even get a notification from Android saying that apps can access location again. There's a bunch of these actions, but you can check out which ones are exist on your device, but I've prepared a few of them here. For example, set key guard disabled. Um, and you, when you lock your device's screen like this and you enable it again, you can see that there's no key guard, nothing blocking your input from, from accessing the device, but you can uh, enable it again by not disabling it and if you run this and now lock your device you can see that there's a key guard again this could be useful to enable or disable your key guard depending on if you're at home or if you're away anything you like there's a bunch of actions here for example uh, set screen capture disabled I could 
disable the screen capture on my device. So, for example, if I start a recording like this, and let's just, let's just get it started, and then after a few seconds, I run this action, which disables screen capturing, and now uh, no app can capture my screen anymore. So let's stop this recording, and if I view it, you can see that the screen capture failed altogether. I can block apps from being uninstalled, I can set the time on my device, I can uh, make apps not be able to be disabled by the system, and I can even disable my status bar, for example. So if I go here and set this to true, now I can no longer pull down on my status bar, so it's kind of blocked. And I can even get values from these functions, so there are a bunch of functions that, that check values or states from your phone and I can get those values by running for example is status bar disabled you can see that it's true it's disabled right now but if I set it to enable again false and run this now it says false and I can go back to controlling my status bar so now you get access to all of these powerful functions that weren't able to be run before without this new device owner permission. And now you can do this all in Tasker. And this all, as mentioned, this all depends on your device. So this list will be populated based on what's possible on your device. So these are the new powerful device owner actions. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.